Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss 2023 Mayjun uh, Unified Edexcel Scientific Article. Uh, my uh, aim is to find the potential questions that could come from this uh, scientific article. I have done complete the scientific article and uh, decided what are the potential questions that could come uh, with this uh, microbiota, gut, brain, axis, and the central nervous system is the title of this uh, scientific article. How does this work? I can show you uh, one example. Uh, let's take paragraph two. Uh, in paragraph two, this is the text written. Gut microorganisms play an important role in promoting adult development and uh, homeostasis. For example, they can affect human metabolic function by decomposing the complex polysaccharides in food. Uh, in theory, where we have learned about gut microorganisms, you need four, uh, immunity, biological barrier, that is come under the innate immune system. Uh, innate immune system has the external defense, physical barrier, chemical barrier, and the biological barrier. So we briefly discussed about the microorganisms, gut microorganisms in immunity. Uh, here, we have to uh, understand a little bit more than that in this research article. In addition, gut microorganism can regulate gut movement the gut barrier system, the gut barrier system is the one we discuss under the immunity and the fat distribution. Gut microorganism can affect immune function through the development of gut associated lymphoid tissue and by preventing the colonization of pathogen and they can affect the energy metabolism and mitochondrial function of the host. Now, I take uh, one question from this, uh, preventing the colonization of pathogens. So I take that part, and uh, I'm going to show you one question from this paragraph too. There could be a few questions, but I'm going to show you one question. Question is, you might be asked this time, explain how gut microorganisms prevent colonization of pathogens with the two or three marks. So the answer should be like this. Now I take a, a, a blue color to represent the gut microorganism. Okay. So here you go. Okay. Now these are commensal bacteria or gut microbes. I'm going to show you a red color pathogen. Pathogens are disease causing agent that has potential risk of developing infectious disease in human. Okay, now uh, the gut microorganism evolved with the human uh, immune system and the human immune system and gut microorganism, there is a balance. As a result, there is no immune response against gut microorganism and there's no infectious uh, disease from the gut microorganism. There is a balance existing. This balance is mostly beneficial for both bacteria and human. 
there are certain factors that can break this barrier, right? So now uh, what is going to happen, uh, these blue color microorganisms, uh, they are adapted to live in this uh, gut, in the gut area. But when it comes to a, a pathogenic bacteria, they are not used to uh, live in the gut area. However, what is going to happen if uh, these microorganisms here okay. uh, if these uh, Red color microorganism try to grow within the blue color gut microorganism. There is a competition. So in this competition, uh, it is very difficult to survive because these bacteria are not adapted uh, to live in this area. Then there is a competition coming from other bacteria. The competition is for space. The competition is for space, or it could be a nutrition. Example, uh, glucose. So in this competition, it is very difficult to pathogenic bacteria to survive, hence they cannot grow. So this is uh, one marking scheme point and the second one uh, in this cartoon you can see the blue color one is a gut microorganism and they produce uh, chemicals and these chemicals are toxic for the pathogenic bacteria so uh, they produce uh, different uh, chemicals these chemicals are uh, referred as metabolites this is the gut microorganism they produce this metabolites and this metabolites is toxic to pathogen there could be anti-bacterial uh, effect or uh, direct toxic effect of these uh, chemicals to the pathogen and the pathogen cannot grow. So by main mechanism, the competition for space and nutrition and production of toxin by gut microorganism prevent colonization of pathogens. So you can uh, find your answer within this range uh, compete with pathogen for space, nutrient, and metabolites, example, glucose, amino acid, uh, gut flora producing toxin to pathogens, preventing the growth of pathogen colonization of the gut. Now, this is one example, one question, and one answer. So, likewise, we are going to find most potential question and proper uh, marking scheme uh, answers for the research article. I think uh, if you uh, would like to join a complete session as a recording, uh, you can uh, register or you can request through the website www.tulipdust.com. Then I can send a link for the complete uh, discussion of the 2023 uh, May-June research scientific article and most possible questions and the marking scheme point answers for that okay so that's it if you would like uh, please uh, contact me and i can send this